right, welcome to Numeric's video blog. I'm your host, Jim Jockel. Joining me again, Dr. Sergey Izakov, Global Head of Quantitative Research at Numeric's. Welcome, Sergey. Thank you. Uh, wanted to continue our conversation uh, regarding counterparty credit risk uh, around a paper that was introduced, uh, that you introduced at uh, Risk USA back in November uh, of 2012. And in our last video blog, we talked uh, a little bit about the adoption of the modern approach for counterparty credit risk, as well as uh, looking at uh, risk, calculating risk exposures via, for vanillas via super swap, as well as uh, structured products through the newly introduced algorithmic exposure. So please, if you haven't seen that post, join it, uh, look back online, and you can get the background on that. But one of the things we talked about, Sergey, is um, hybrid modeling and the use of hybrid modeling. Um, can you, for our viewers, go into that a little bit more? What actually is a hybrid model? What is the importance of hybrid modeling? And how does that um, af affect calculations uh, uh, such as CVA, DVA, FEA, etc.? Well, for, for hybrid models, uh, first of all, why hybrid models are important for counterparty risk? The requirement is that you have to account for correlations between all asset classes. So you, 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 if you have equities, interest rates, effects, inflation, commodities in your portfolio, you have to, to account for correlations between all these uh, risks in your portfolio. And uh, the hybrid models uh, do exactly that. Uh, the construction of, of hybrid model is as follows. First, you start from component model that belong to a particular asset class, say interest rate of equity or effects. And then uh, when each uh, such model is uh, constructed, calibrated, you build the hybrid model as a container of all those models with some modifications that are necessary to do, like uh, drift adjustment. Uh, and then the hybrid model, then you correlate all the, the models in your portfolio by applying uh, external correlation matrix. And this is where correlations come into the play. And then this model is ready to basically compute exposures for any deals in your portfolio. Hmm. And in terms of uh, a practical implementation, um, you know, what kind of optimizations uh, should people be thinking about in terms of order to achieve these, uh, these types of, the type of accuracy required for hmm. these calculations? Uh, well, uh, because the uh, uh, hybrid models are big, maybe very big in this computation, you have to apply some optimizations to satisfy memory and time requirements. And one of the most important optimization is application of uh, factor models in, in this, in this uh, type of computation. And it's not, not very non-trivial to, to apply the idea of factors models for exposure and CVA com computation. And what, what we came up recently with is, uh, uh, we, we call it a parallelization of the hybrid model. First, you, you define uh, primary and secondary factors in your model. And then you are able to break the big, in general, huge, may, huge hybrid model, which may consist of thousands of factors, into smaller pieces, compute exposures by those smaller pieces, and aggregate uh, at the end. And the main result is that the, the final uh, result of the calculation is exactly the same as uh, the result that could be obtained by the original hybrid model, big hybrid model. And that, is, that was a non-trivial step to achieve. And in looking at the presentation, uh, you've, you walked through a, a particular use case where, where I think you had something of 118 different factors built in and you were still able to come down and achieve sub-millisecond pricing and risk valuation on that. Right, Th that's correct. And one would presume over not just uh, for a single instrument, but when you start multiplying over thousands and thousands of instruments and trying to meet those real-time objectives, uh, even just that, that optimization at a core aggregation is, is, is critical to achieve those time horizons for trading. Yeah, that, that's true. I also want to mention this, uh, another type of optimization, which we call shared model, mm -hmm. where, basi where actually you, you built a model once, you calibrate it once, and you create uh, all Monte Carlo paths once. And then you share the same model uh, across all the computations in your portfolio. So that the time uh, that is spent on uh, creating Monte Carlo Pass, which may be substantial for uh, vanilla instruments. Uh, pricing uh, itself for vanilla instruments, it's very quick. It's milliseconds, microseconds. But uh, creation of Monte Carlo Passes, it takes time. So this optimization, which, we, which is called shared model, also actually a way to achieve real-time CVA calculation. 
and and one would uh, presume that in terms of uh, the concepts around our, uh, algorithmic exposure, um, the optimization and shared models, that, that there is a real mitigation of model risk in terms of applying a hybrid model against that portfolio. Is that, is that accurate? Yeah, that, that's correct because the, uh, the hybrid model basically, well, well, one feature of the modern approach, advantage of the modern approach, benefits of modern approach, is that you compute exposures and CVA by exactly the same models that you use for pricing. That's a very important point. And a few years back, it was uh, only, I think, only a dream even in big banks that, uh, that it's possible to do that. But it's possible now because normally exposures and counterparty risk uh, uh, for, for computation, uh, some uh, simpler models were used. But this approach with optimizations allows to use exactly the same models as for pricing, which provides a very well uh, high level of accuracy for CVA computation. Sergey, thank you so much for joining us today. And again, of course, you, if, you, if you'd like to see the uh, presentation that was given by Sergey or any of the reference papers uh, back from RiskUSA, please visit numerics.com where they can be downloaded. And of course, join in the conversation at nxanalytics.com on Twitter, uh, as well as look at our uh, blog going forward. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.